why? I, I don't even have anything to say, right? I feel like, okay, the answer is get, get healthy, get in good shape, and then everything will come to you. Fucking nonsense. Yeah, everything will come to you, including all the deg degradatory shit that exists. Just seeps into you, and the, the more healthy you try to get, the more difficult it becomes because the more toxin comes into you from all these other people and things around you. Hey man, when you're healthy, it all comes to you, including the fucking bullets. So I'm like trying to ig ignore and avoid people. I don't think my parents will let me do that at their house. They'll want me to leave. Uh, I don't think anyone really will want me around them if I'm ignoring them. But at the same time, people make my skin crawl. Disgusting. Fucking ill. I can go into the woods, but I'm afraid I would die. Or couldn't get food. Because I need to buy my cans of tuna from the grocery store. I'm like basically... One of the guys from the game, the character or something, that was like... As browbeaten as everyone else, um, I learned the system like everyone else, and I thought that McDonald's and five bucks was a good thing until I started to question it. And even then, I still kind of thought it was a good thing. Like, I didn't burn down the McDonald's and rip up my five dollar bills, because I knew that they have some value. But I saw that there was something deformative about them, so I started calling it out like, that's bad. Sex is bad. Alcohol's bad. Don't do these things that are destructive things. The whole time just being a fucking pussy. With no intention of stopping any of it. I still will go get McDonald's. Uh, and I'm still working for a buck. I feel like there's a window open when I could have been like, went for it. And then like, we don't need money to survive, we just need each other. But I didn't trust that that was true. I've never seen someone survive without money in the society. Well, I've never looked for too long, but... There's not enough proof that it can happen. So I didn't take the leap of faith, they would say. Instead, I'm still here on Earth. I'm miserable. Maybe I should be dead. Maybe I should have done some crazy thing and be dead and give, have to give people hope or something. Because ain't happy here now. I'm not happy bitch slapping other people with my words. But if I don't, I just see people fucking themselves up. And I can't be around that. Because either I start fucking myself up, I'm like, fuck you, you're going to do that, I'm going to do that. Or I'm just miserable because the people I'm around are fucked up and I'm not. Other than that, it's me telling people, you shouldn't do that. You should do less of this. You should do this instead of that. You should, you should. Doesn't work. That doesn't work either. So what? Uh, the only other option that I have right now, I've got to get out of the city and clear my head for a little bit. I don't want to leave, but I do. So I'm going to. I'm going to leave. And uh, come back maybe someday. Um, but what I really want to do is like, go to a community where people that are like me, but I don't think that exists. People are either really nerdy or really cool. Like, they're either like fuck-ups or they're super dorky. Does that make sense? I, I don't know a lot of people that are in the middle, or are both. <laughs> cool equals fuck up to me, by the way. Uh, you know. 
I, like, I don't even feel like I fit in on YouTube, which is the whole fucking human race. Anyone that's got enough money and wherewithal to buy a camera, video camera, and a microphone. But I don't feel like I fit in, because, like, when I see these people and meet these people and talk to these people on YouTube, they have, like, huge channels on YouTube, I just feel like, they're so dorky, I can't take it. I can't be around it. I can't even associate with it, because it's so dorky. <laughs> It's so, uh, it's like the nerdiest kids I knew from school being, like, super nerdy. Like, at least the kids I knew in school had enough balls to not be nerdy in public. These poor depressed fucks, I'm sure, you know, but, like, just, like, makes my skin crawl on the inside watching it. I'm like, I can't, it's not me. I don't know if I'm too advanced for the human race. If I'm, like, born too early, I see too much going on that I, I feel like it's just a waste of time to try to begin to fix it. All I really want is just to set my parents up with retirement. It's so weird, there's like a part of me that feels like when the vibration sinks up, I can see a pattern, a shape where everyone is vi vibrating together, like making this strong pattern together, and I'm in the middle. You know, or I'm like one of these central units. Or if I was the central unit when I was visualizing it, maybe I'm not now telling the story. And I feel like that's possible. You know, if we needed, the human race needed to like build something, floating shorelines, I don't know, a space elevator, maybe they could. They could get together and build it. But then if that vibration pattern changes, everyone will break apart into chaos again. So, like, what am I, I'm not trying to dominate the human race to do what I want it to do. I'm not going to build a machine and make sure that people do what it's, they're supposed to do. It's probably the great thing about humanity is the chaos. And when they're not forming these pattern shapes together, it's the best time. It's when individuals get to be individuals, make new shapes, and be like, hey, everyone, let's make this new shape. So, that part of me that feels like that can happen, good, maybe it will. Maybe there will be a time that we need to do it. In the meantime, I'm miserable. I'm like, I'm miserable, and then I'm like, no, and I'm like healthy for a long time, and I'm like, I feel good. I feel great, but I'm still miserable. Why am I so unhappy? Is it because my friends, the guy sitting across the room from me is drunk out of his mind? Or is it because I'm not able to accomplish what I wanted to accomplish with my life? Or is it just inherent in what I am? Misery? Is it unavoidable? Am I miserable because right now everything I'm built to do which is sync people up? I feel like the best thing I can do is get people on the same page. That it's not needed right now? Like it's supposed to be a time of chaos and... Like, how did Prop 8 pass, man? I didn't say a word about it, and it passed. Like, what the fuck? After all the work I did, and all the talking and talking and talking and connecting with people, you know, thousands of people that I'd influenced, and it was like one of the simplest things, gay marriage. Yeah, gay marriage should be legal everywhere. All marriage should be treated the same. If you want to marry a dog, you got to go to Mars. Uh... And it failed. It, 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 Prop 8 passed. And I'm like, this is what I'm up against. If I don't work, if I don't try, people are fucking idiots. And if I do try, good stuff can happen at the expense of people calling me an idiot day after day after day after day after day after day after day. After day. Like, if you don't know what that's like, send me a message and I'll explain to you how to get yourself into that situation where people will call you an idiot every day. Multiple people. People will call you an idiot for things you said years ago if you have videos on YouTube. So the benefit was like, oh, I could impose some change. I could help people out at the expense of feeling like an idiot. So I stopped doing that. And then I started to feel horrible because I wasn't helping people. But at least people were calling me an idiot. People don't 
mess with me now. It's kind of nice. Like, I, I've always been bitch, bitch slapped and browbeaten. My whole life, I've been the one that, like, was told what to do, did, did stuff against my will, went along with what people said, tried not to get beat up, tried to make people laugh so that I didn't get into a fight or get hurt. And now I get to, like, tell people to fuck off. And I'm bigger and stronger than a lot of people, so I'm just going to get in people's face and get them to back off. People don't say shit. I'm fucking totally... I don't know what my, my problem was with like forcing myself to accept this hate. Now I'm just like squash it out. And like I enjoy killing a bug every once in a while. I try and be so kind and like take them outside. But sometimes I just like to watch it suffer. Like put some poison on it, drown it, like watch it slowly drown for a long period of time, you know? I guess. I can't rely on anyone else to make me want to help, so I am what I am because I've chosen this.